with the strong compassionate heart when we practice loving kindness huh? when we practice love huh? so we must do without segregating this ra- different race or different religion no no as a human being so when we come to this kind of situation is uh, religious leaders are very an important so we are very lucky very fortunate to live in malaysia like malaysian multiracial multi religious country we can learn many things and we'll be able to live peacefully and happily in this country no major issues compared with the other part of certain countries so very very lucky very very fortunate to be in malaysia when you talk about humanity actually we all are human being so whether whatever race or whatever religion whatever culture huh, whatever color but all of us are human beings so when we come to the uh, this world we started to identify or put the labels religions comes different different ways uh, so uh, now we in come to the world uh, come especially like malaysia we have so many religious followers all the religions they taught us to do good be good of course later they have explain how to be a good person how to do good things and being an ordinary human being we have the common things if like for example uh, an ordinary everybody we have to eat we have to drink huh? we have to take shower whatever way, daily things everybody whatever different religion different race or whatever but everybody had to do that we had to go beyond that that is the daily routine but we must know how to live in this world unfortunately most of us being a human being our mind always go to the negative thing negative thing that's why even today so many things are happening but when come to the religion huh? religious to- teachers taught us how to do good things how to walk with the correct path that's the original teachings so for example loving kindness uh, we like especially like we buddhists we practice loving kindness so when we come to the practice loving kindness we start from our own self our own parents own family members uh, then own relatives or own friends uh, on a, uh, uh, all the close friends and uh, uh, far distance friends then even we extend to the our enemies and neighbors our country and universal that's how we practice loving kindness so when uh, now since like this time the covid 19 we wish may all be in be free from covid 19 so we eat different ways to this time so that's why the uh, as i mentioned to you earlier humanity must practice with the uh, common ways but if religions comes and guide you 
to be to practice correct way so sometimes due to craving huh craving and we create our own self huh i don't like this person i don't like that person so then the moment that bad thought come into your mind next is how to take action so when they take action ah uh, different ways how to go out so i must kill him i want to do this i must demolish his house the demolish destroy his business or the kind of thing so from the mind we create so the side so the religion's duty is to guide human being correct path when we have the uh, some guideline ha huh? guideline so at least we know how to adjust our mind so now another simple example why are we going to school and study ha huh? because when we born to this world we do not know anything ha huh? from young they our parents taught us a b c d uh, mummy daddy all, all these things then after that nowadays got home school then after that kindergarten montessori and then again primary school secondary school university uh, come to the universities so we got a vast knowledge about many areas so that's how the in, in the even when near is study huh? so we our teachers used to teach us the good things to live in this uh, world huh? guide uh, our life how our talent we try to create at the same time the uh, religions uh, is something like we call all the moral education huh? so the uh simple language people used to call as moral things so the so then we must know the all the moral and ethics huh? so we, if we know proper way how to uh, follow definitely we will be able to continue our life correct path. Malaysia is a multicultural multi-religious country it's a beautiful country we have the strong rich heritage culture and when we live like this our like Malaysia our countries we will be able to learn many things huh we will be able to learn many things many culture many traditions Huh? so when we were young huh? in the kampung or village huh? the uh, we maybe our neighbors the right side is indian family left side is uh, chinese family huh? uh, imran is uh, maybe malay families huh? so when a malay house got papaya a little bit uh, they pluck and then give it to the other houses also ha huh? banana or like that then when come to the the festival time hari raya or deepavali or christmas ha huh? so new year what they do when they keep make biscuits or cookies or whatever they go and share each other ha huh? so that was be really beautiful ha huh? we can learn many thing ha huh? and uh, then again since we are living in this a uh, country like malaysia is many things we will be able to learn from each other so assuming like we go to the uh, medical camp or sports day we don't talk about the racial and religion so this thing we play play as our is students huh 
students together as a human being. Huh? So we laugh, joke. Huh? So even that when we go and do the uh, like charity work, so all these uh, social work. So normally we do together. Huh? Uh, when we do together, we don't talk about oh you have belonged to uh, uh, what do you call this religion, you have belonged to this faith, that faith. No, but we we must know how to mix with the everybody. But at the same time, we must know how to respect instead of uh, arguing each other's all these uh, different uh, ideas, different opinion. We must always see all the similarities. Huh? When we talk about similarity, as a human being, many things are common. Many things are common. Huh? So only like the like sea, huh? but water coming from different stream, different rivers, all these things. Huh? But come to sea, water. So it's very common. We don't say, "Oh, this water came from uh, this river. That uh, this uh, this water came this stream." No, we always say sea water. Same way, with the strong, compassionate heart. When we practice loving kindness, huh? when we practice love, huh? so we must do without segregating this ra different race or different religion, no, no, as a human being. So when we come to this kind of situation, it's, uh, religious leaders are very important. So we are very lucky, very fortunate to live in Malaysia, like Malaysian multiracial, multi-religious country. It, we can learn many things and will be able to live peacefully and happily in this country. No major issues compared with the other part of the certain countries. So very, very lucky, very, very fortunate to be in Malaysia. All the religious leaders, they must try uh, they are best to learn original teaching. Whatever faith they are belong to, they must learn correct teaching. Not the certain religious teachers, they interpret different way. That's why if some somebody a little bit more active appear with the different opinion, different ideas, huh, then people start to follow. Oh, this is this way. So people had the uh, mindset or oh, oh, the Buddhism say like that, Hinduism say like that, Christianity say like that, Islam say like that, the interpreted uh, uh, teaching. But to me, we must learn original teaching. If we learn original teaching, huh, so we will be able to educate our followers. Huh? So, uh, when we can educate them, so definitely they try their best to think, understand, and after learning, they practice. Huh? So, today's society, unfortunately, huh, I'm very, very sorry to say, most of us are labeled religious people only labels, huh? most, of, most of the people, huh? they, the, but they nev never go into the deep teaching of their uh, teachers and learn, so we can live peacefully in harmony, whole world, huh? but most of them uh, learn the outer layer of religion, when interpreted uh, uh, teaching. So due to that, none of the people are 100% perfect and therefore and our mind always goes into the uh, negative things so when come to the with the emotional feeling and craving and 
and then all the other influence make them to come forward to uh, implement you should not do you shouldn't do you should not do like that so what we have to do is when come to this situation huh, we must from young to elders even normal ordinary person to all the leaders we must try our best to teach them a correct teaching correct path that is the religious leaders duty and once they learn the religious uh, correct teaching nobody can influence so therefore i strongly encourage everybody to learn their respective religions respective faith follow and learn understand and practice this is the very an important question if we are going to think about the future huh, we have to uh, follow certain important thing what we have to do is we must try to educate people education is very an important huh? but we must educate people with correct path correct teaching huh? so like when we are living in multiracial multi religious country we must try to learn as much as possible other people religion other people culture other people traditions huh then with understanding whatever religions huh whatever religions practice from you i can learn many things from him i can learn many things so we i put it to practice with understanding huh so but only theory is not enough you go to school or college or uh, all the religious institution go and learn also not enough but we also must learn practical side huh so practical side so that's why in we must do in addition to no, those studying in the schools or universities or other religious schools what we have to do is we must organize more often dialogue section discussion huh huh discussion so uh, like certain uh, houses when you go to different race or different culture different uh, uh, people you know we have to follow certain thing we must know how to go like if we associate we know uh, like western culture people don't remove the shoes so straight away he go to the house huh but when come to the our asians huh many at the religious places or in even houses huh so we have the like asian our culture huh? tradition we remove our shoes and go my it is good for uh, to uh, what you call clean also huh and then respect their other people's culture and tradition also uh, then certain place like even myself i used to go and go to uh, associate with some um, mla friends so we should sit on the floor and eat, eat, eat together like that yeah. so we had to be very humble and then when we uh, what do you call uh, organize various activities such as a dialogue discussion and then again activities like sports day common activities for everybody huh yeah. and definitely we will be able to build up our relationship each other so we the religions actually it is we don't have to bank oh the, the religion say like this like this as i told you earlier it is guideline for us to correct path us to go forward to live with peacefully and happily huh? even we believe here and here after also huh? if we uh, just example i give you 
if we go and associate with the some uh, naughty people, huh? from young, the boy also, or boy or girls also, their behavior, uh, their behavior according to their people, like just like weather. Huh? Same way, if you are in the uh, good people's area, you are uh, growing up, uh, then you learn to be a good people. Uh, so then so you will be able to follow correct path. Uh, so that's, we always must try to teach them, guide them. And as an example, we, our own self, also we must know how to behave ourselves in front of the young generation. Uh, like as I told you now, Society has been changing. Those days you have been using all the uh, books and everything. Even compare with the our time when we take dinner together with the father, mother and family members. Huh? We run into the mother's lap, sit down and mother also feed us. Huh? Then run into the father's lap, the father sit down and the uh, father also feed us. Huh? And that family bonding is there. Huh? So my father, my mommy, my sister, my do, uh, uh, brother like that. But now, modern society, unfortunately, huh, with the development with the modern technology, many things is fading away. Family uh, feelings. You see, as I told you earlier, we used to run to the mother's lap, sit down, lap, sit down, and father. But now, everybody using handphone. Huh? So while we are taking uh, a food, uh, the daughter or son uh, texts to the mother, uh, Mommy, after my dinner, I'm going out. So mother sitting in front of this, mother also replied, Okay, make sure you must come back early. But no communications each other. That's why the children are also very rebellious because no family bonding, no family feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. time to come. What will happen again? Going to be worse than that. Even now with the, like Asian culture, huh? we used to be together with the parents until we can move ourselves to be a human, I mean family people. But time to come, when they reach, if children reach about 15, 16 years, they want to go away from the family, parent, and they want to have their own independence. So that's why we must try our best to build up our family feeling. And same time, a spiritual feeling. Now, slowly and slowly, Reducing young people are going to the, all the uh, religious places, but religious leaders, lead, uh, religious leaders, duties quickly must organize activities to hold them back, build them, uh, build up next uh, platform for the next generation. Otherwise, in future we can't see any more people in the, all the holy places. So the same way, so with the, by using modern technology, we must try our best to educate the people, especially younger generation, to learn uh, all the good things, positive things, and at the same time, make them understand and practice. Like example, I think one year ago or two years ago, I can't remember exactly, everybody crazy about Pokemon. Huh? From young to adults, they go, go. Why not? If we, are, we have so many resources, we create huh, a certain program similar to that, but in between. Assuming like you are coming to the temple, you were playing, looking for the Pokemon. The moment come, and then if something can appear, huh, not to do evil, do good, purify your mind. Huh? 
So with that good thought, when we put it inside, automatically it goes to the people's mind. So that's why we have to create all the good things, good ideas, moral uh, and I think good ethics to educate next generation. So therefore, now we are in this century, we are living, consider peacefully and happily, and so we must build the platform for next generation by using it the modern technology at the same time with correct teaching of the our original by using original teaching of our great masters teaching with original teaching to educate next generation then they will be able to live peacefully and happily Can you see my hand? The fingers are different sizes. Huh? Different fingers, different sizes. Huh? Same way. Huh? In the human society, people have a different way of thinking, different things, all different differences. But what we have to do is we with correct path as i told you earlier with understanding huh, we must educate everybody and everybody follow the same way then definitely is a peace and harmony in this world sure definitely you can create but as long as you have the craving I want to be a leader. I want to have a big bungalow house. I want to be this. I want to be that. Not that easy. So, we must go into the, our mind to educate them. Huh? So, we call uh, like, I think Malay also we are using Dukkha. Huh? Same, I mean, we use Pali and Sanskrit also Dukkha word. So, suffering. So, everybody's one side is we are looking for happiness, but all this happiness huh, is all temporary only. Temporary only. Huh? Today I want to be a very rich man, but tomorrow I got a stroke. No use already. Huh? But we try our best to free from suffering. In order to free from suffering, so what we have to do is we must cultivate over here. So, most important thing, we must try our best to learn correct path, correct teaching. Then we must try to understand. Then again, when we practice, each and every one of us have the same mentality and same way of behavior same attitude and we'll be able to live same society with multiracial, multi-religious people together with the same platform. So I hope in future, huh, even now itself, if we can build up together each and every one of us peace and harmony, we don't have to worry about anything. No need to have war, no need to have this, no need to have this thing. So, I pray, I hope, I wish with understanding of the correct path of the, your respective religious teachers. Learn, understand and practice. We will be able to live peacefully and happily. And in addition to that, Unfortunately, whole world are facing this COVID-19 huh? uh, uh, virus. So, what we have to do is everybody must focus. Whole world, you, 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 all the human beings, everybody 
can focus our mind huh? may with the power of the all our living kindness good thought huh? may we be free from covid 19 and may we be free from suffering we be free from mental suffering as well as physical suffering finally we will be able to find eternal happiness is so before that we have must create for the society peace and harmony with understanding of correct teaching so in order that all the people when we practice humanity with the correct path we can be live happily forever <laughs>